Welcome back to Generation SUNY. We're here with Dr. David Lavalley, Interim Provost and Vice Senior Vice Chancellor for SUNY. And he's going to give us a little bit of background on our sixth conversation on quality of place. Now, Dr. Lavalley, what exactly is quality of place? Well, Adam, I think it's the kind of thing that you would think about when you say, would I really like to move to that town or that village? Would I like to spend some of my life there or maybe reside there for the rest of my life? So what is it that's going to make that place attractive to me? and keep me centered there. Right, and how can quality of place in SUNY play a role in the communities that we serve? Well, we have a great deal, I think, of um, ability in SUNY to use the kind of expertise and programs that we have, and also the interests of our students in order to develop the community. And really, there's three major ways that I see this happening. Uh, in most of our communities, we see that the SUNY campus is the cultural hub for that community. That the local residents can go to art exhibits, they can go to performances on the campus, and some of our campuses are bringing that right into the village with local art establishments uh, right there in the middle. And in addition to that, there are lectures and other ways in which community members can engage in discussion and, and learn from the SUNY institution. They can even audit or take classes as well. Secondly, we have a direct effect on the business in the community. Uh, in many cases, the SUNY campus may be one of the larger enterprises, and the business that it generates is very important to the economic health of the community. But besides that, faculty, consult. We have small business centers on our campuses to help local businesses. And I know from my own case on campus that we have students who do business plans or marketing plans for local small business to help them. And the third way is the engagement of our students and our faculty in the social fabric of the community. Um, we may have teacher centers or education centers for, for young students to learn math or uh, their literacy skills that will take place with the campus. We have students on campus who do community service and work with social organizations to help support uh, their activities in the, in the uh, neighboring community. And our faculty often get involved in helping those social agencies in order to better provide their services. So I think we have a way of touching the community and making it a better place to live and a more interesting place to live. Oh, that sounds like really great ways for a student to reach out. Dr. Valley, I want to thank you for taking the time for meeting with us today. Sure, glad to do it, Adam. Stay tuned for our seventh conversation on health affairs right here on Generation SUNY. Thank you.